Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is iOS 9.1 Beta 2. Beta 1 came out oh, a couple weeks ago, basically when they announced the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, but this one is actually really not too much of a change compared to Beta 1. So 9.1 added support for keyboards and emojis using Unicode and some new things there. This particular update to Beta 2 fixes some underlying issues also notes that there's some other issues with a, with iCloud keychain support for third party keyboards, things like that, uh, photo kit issues and podcasts, all of that has issues right now, but they've also fixed some other things, but sometimes they don't state everything they've fixed in their betas. But the only real change we've seen physically is actually under the settings. So, you know, if you go into messages here and you can see, we have photos next to the names. If you have a photo set, well, one of the things they've actually changed is the ability to remove that. So if you go home, go into settings, and then under settings, if you go down to your messages here, under messages, we can now remove the show contact photos. So if I turn this off, go back into messages, the photos disappear. That's pretty much it as far as what's new. There isn't a whole lot new going on. Now, this is supposed to be the update supposedly for the iPad Pro that updates some information there and helps people out along those lines uh, with some of those new features supporting new keyboards, the new keyboard that's coming from Apple, along with the Apple Pencil. Along with this update also came out a public release of iOS 9.0.1, and it basically fixes four issues. It fixes an issue where some users couldn't complete Setup Assistant after updating, which I actually had that issue. It fixes an issue where sometimes alarms and timers could fail to play. It also fixes an issue in Safari and Photos where pausing video could cause the paused frame to appear distorted. And it also fixes an issue where some users with a custom APN setup via a profile would actually lose connection to cellular data. So those things were actually available over an up over the air update. And that's available now. If you don't have that, if you have iOS nine, the public release, you can actually get it there and just download it through settings, uh, go back to software, go to general, go to software update, and you can grab it there. If you found anything other than I mentioned with iOS 9.1 beta two, or even iOS 9.0.1, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.